The traditional method for next-generation sequencing of methylcytosine, also known as the fifth base, creates library molecules from double-stranded DNA prior to bisulfite treatment. Bisulfite treatment converts unmethylated cytosines into uracils, but also damages and denatures DNA. While this traditional method results in relatively even coverage, the damage fractures library molecules and results in a loss of up to 95% of library. A random primer-based method is able to avoid fracture and loss of library by creating library molecules after bisulfite conversion. This method attaches adapters to the single-stranded DNA fragments that result from bisulfite treatment, but the random primer approach used for adapter attachment is prone to base composition bias that leads to inefficient priming of a subset of DNA fragments. This results in underrepresentation of AT or GC-rich sequences in the library. Excel NGS MethylSeq also creates library molecules after bisulfite conversion, but utilizes the proprietary chemistry of the adaptase reaction to efficiently adapt bisulfite converted single stranded DNA molecules. This template independent efficient adapter attachment results in higher recovery of input DNA than either of the previous methods and even coverage of AT or GC rich sequences. These features enable a broad input range from 100 picograms to 500 nanograms and a fast, simple workflow, taking just two hours to prepare library molecules from converted single-stranded DNA. To learn more about sequencing the fifth base with Excel NGS MethylSeq, please visit our website or call us.